right, all right, all right. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Empress Tarot. Y'all, as I'm starting the video, um, I just noticed that this song was on. How can I ease the pain when I know you're coming back again? So some of y'all could be up and look, that alarm thing went off. Uh, so some of y'all energy or y'all like um, willpower could be low for somebody who keeps running in and out like back and forth in your life. Um, but y'all, I, I just came out of a reading um, that I did for you all. The reading was like 46 minutes and some seconds and yeah, no volume. So I just took it like that reading was for me because uh, when I was reading it, it just seemed like it was a personal reading for myself. Um, no volume was to it. Um, so I just I just went on ahead and deleted the reading. So that's why these cards are the way that they are. Um, you guys, I have been gone for a little while and, I, you know, I've been gone. Uh, Y'all know I had eye surgery. I've been healing from that. As well as um, I've been like I've been I had court cases and all kind of like stuff that just had been going on. I'm talking about spiritual warfare had really uh, been hitting me. I'm finally I feel out the woods of everything. But you know one thing about this spirit uh, world when you walk in with God and you are a spiritualist, my fellow spiritual spiritualist. Y'all know we go through it. Like, it just, I, on the other video, I the song that, uh, this song popped up in my head, ain't no party like a spiritual warfare party because a spiritual warfare party don't stop. Yeah, it don't stop. It done got to the point, y'all, to where I'm so accustomed to spiritual warfare to now, I, I this gonna sound so cool, but I'm starting to like enjoy it. Like I'm starting to, oh, that's what you got. <laughs> like, okay, let's let's let her rip. Um, that's how I'm feeling. Uh, is it's been going on for so long to where now I'm starting to, uh, I'm starting to get accustomed to it. Um, for myself with this spiritual warfare, I I feel like, um. Yeah, like the the David, I was about to say the character David, but David in the Bible, for those of you all who knew, David was like a mild-mannered person who basically he did he he did he did God's will, but when push came to shove, like a Goliath or something like that, David handled his business. I feel like that's what God is doing with me, and I feel like not just with me. But a lot of his children, he is giving us the right to fight. Um, and it feels good. It feels good. I can't even lie to y'all. I'm not going to lie because for people to be doing all kinds of wrong and not getting away with it, the victory for me, I can't speak for everybody. It feels good to see people not getting the victory because they did wrong. If it, and I'm not gloating in people's uh pain or anything like that, but I feel like this. They did not have a problem sending pain my way or lying on me or, or mistreating me. Well, when the tables turn, they should feel the same way. And the part that gets to me, <clears throat> they don't want me to talk, the part that gets to me is after they done did people wrong, then they want to come ask for your remorse and for you to take it easy on them no the the law is the law the would you there's consequences to things that you do so y'all with that being said just know a spiritual warfare at its finest okay um and then after all the spiritual warfare i decided to uh do a cleanse uh where i cut out things that was unhealthy as far as uh meats and all of that so i ate meat but it was lean meats like chicken turkey uh i did nothing but uh vegetables fruits uh water and if i did drink juice it was like natural juices like where it was the real oranges the real strawberries the real you know it was no added nothing okay 
uh, stayed away from sugar, did a cleansing of my home, everything. So some of y'all, I'm telling y'all that because some of y'all, y'all need to, uh, are you been feeling like you need to, if you've been feeling like you need to, uh, do a cleanse, do it. Some of y'all, y'all need to do a cleanse and it's time to do it. So that's why God is having me to bring this up to y'all. Without further ado, I'm hoping that this volume is on, um, you all. But without further ado, I'm going to get started. I'm going to move these cards. Because, again, I did a 46-minute read for y'all. And guess what? Yes, yeah, it's just not a, it just, it just was, it just was no volume. So, uh, I, when that happens, I start, I, look, I take the bitter with the sweet now. So, when that happens, I feel like the message was for me. Because clearly, y'all won't be able to hear it. So, I'm the only one that heard it and know it. So, that was my message, and I got, I got it going. I got you. So now, oh, look what's at the bottom of the deck, the Ten of Swords. Somebody could feel defeated, like feeling like, oh, I'm just tired, don't know what to do, feel like somebody has betrayed y'all. Somebody could have been like talking down on a ninja name, I heard. <laughs> somebody could, uh, a lot of people, not just one, a lot of people could have for justice. Look, what I just was telling y'all. Didn't I just tell y'all the betrayal, but justice gets served? I'm telling y'all, I don't know who needs to hear this, but you got people in your energy that is like trying to betray you and they think that they're going to get away with it, but God is going to serve justice on these people. And this, this defeat mentality because i'm i'm feeling like they come in like against your like mental whatever they're trying to send to you they are going to be the ones that end up in this situation they're going they send in the ten of swords to you with their lies deceit talking just talking nonsense but justice is going to be served these people are going to have to be accountable for what they're trying to do to you and whoever i'm talking to hold their butts accountable I don't care if it's the lawyer themselves. Hold them accountable. Hold them accountable. Because, y'all, I've been going against, I'm talking about high authority people. Hold them accountable. Look, yep. Some of y'all moving, getting away. That came up in the last read. Some of y'all moving, getting away from this BS, whatever this is. All right. Uh, this is just a general reading, y'all. God, Jesus, Holy Spirit, ancestors, angel, spirit, guys, and a white light. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Y'all been here. We've been having a blast today, y'all. Um, so this is just a general reading. Whatever comes out, comes out. I'll be uh, posting more. Um, let's see. What comes out? What comes out? Okay, judgment. <laughs> I'm telling y'all. Baby, it's time to pay the piper. Yes, there's some type of collaboration uh, that's going on where judgment is definitely going to be called. We have Scorpio and Capricorn energy out here. Okay, my fellow goats, what's up, what's up, what's up? Um, yeah, some of y'all are like um, going to have to have to make a decision as to if you're going to collaborate with like a job situation or if this is love whatever the case may be but some of y'all y'all are making the final decision to collaborate with somebody whatever this collaboration is this is something where it's like outside uh sources slash resources that you all are coming into and you're gonna have to make this decision whether you want to be with this company whether you want to like uh be an entrepreneur whether you want this relationship i'm getting more so the last reading it was love this reading i'm getting more so um job situation money okay, whatever this is this is something that is going to be lucrative to where you're going to be able to be comfortable um but is is a lot of networking is what i'm i'm hearing like is something where some of y'all need to network um and put yourselves out there let people know that you exist 
and some of y'all are making that decision to do so. Look what's at the bottom of the deck again. Some of y'all could feel defeated and feeling like you don't want to do that because of whatever, because uh, somebody betrayed you. Somebody, like I, I'm telling you, I, I keep hearing talking down on a ninja name. Um, whoever has gone through this, it's time for you to come out. Like, and what I'm, what I'm seeing is, you know how, like when, uh, like those runners, the track runners, they run and when they get to the ribbon, they come through the ribbon with both hands in the air. Like I won the race. Some of y'all, it's time for you to free. It's time for you to free yourself, for you to free yourself from whatever these swords is. I don't care what they say. I don't care how all these daggers, all these swords that they done threw at you. It's time for you to free yourself from whatever this is. And for some of y'all, that's by telling the truth. Some of y'all, it's time for y'all to hold people accountable for who they are in your life, what they did, how they did it. Some of y'all, this could be mommy, daddy issues. It's time for you to hold mommy, daddy accountable. Some of y'all is your own children. It's time for you to hold them accountable. Uh, I got that in the last reading too. It's time for you to hold them accountable. Some of y'all, it's a, a marriage. It's time for you to hold that person accountable for how they have betrayed you. And some of them even tried to ruin you. It's time for you to hold them accountable. Some of y'all going to have to go actually to the justice system to hold these people accountable for what they have done. Spiritually, some of y'all going to go to spiritual court on them. But this, it's time for you to hold them accountable. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Give me something on the three of pentacles. Three of pentacles. What, what is this collaboration? This branching out i'm hearing I'm like branching out networking uh, uh, that's luther vandal somebody name could be luther saying it's all right it's all right so yeah y'all gonna be all right whoever i'm speaking to queen of swords gemini libra aquarius with the king of wands Ooh, all right uh we got leo aries sagittarius uh energy so some of y'all, this is something to do with definitely with the justice system. This could be a lawyer uh, that ha is taking like action, seeing the bigger picture of something. This is definitely the truth. This is the truth. I keep hearing the truth. Some of y'all, whoever I'm speaking to, you the truth. You the truth. And you, it's time to tell it. It's time to say something. The Queen of Swords, the Queen of Swords knows how to speak. The Queen of Swords in the upright, she said like it is. She's blunt, but not in a in a negative way to the point to where her words have power to them. And again, is the truth as what this person is saying. Her strategy and the way that she delivers her message, it gets to the right people. Some of y'all have met or will be meeting the right person, this King of Wands. And who, whenever you, whenever you, whoever I'm speaking to, whenever you deliver this message or whatever it is that you have to say, this truth, whenever this truth comes out, this King of Wands will see the bigger picture of what it is that you're trying to convey. And judgment is going to be called. Give me something. Yeah, look, some of y'all, mm, some of y'all lost a lot. Some of y'all lost a lot, a lot. To the point where you had to isolate yourself and you felt like our people isolated you, alienated you, made you feel like you wasn't worth shit, wasn't worth crap. And, <clears throat> oh, it's, Time for you to leave that. Leave that. Whatever that unresolved issues that you're having, I'm getting heavy, y'all. Is something with like 
like family issues or like issues with like the past or like things that happened way back when or it could be presently happening. But it's time for you to leave that. Some of y'all, it's time for you to leave a environment that is like just not good for you. Meaning a house. It's time for you to move. Some That's for some of y'all. Others of you all, this is just a situation that is no longer serving your highest good. And it's time for you to move on. Some of y'all, because you're in the wrong place, you are like losing you're losing because you're in the wrong place are you with the wrong people you're into the wrong things and because of that you're losing look you say it's you say it's saying you got a chance at love you got a chance at life again for some of y'all but is this environment that is like toxic yeah some of y'all y'all tried everything it's time to move on is nothing else whatever the situation is is nothing else that you can do and some of y'all been lying to yourselves or lying about like the situation that y'all in it's time to tell the truth what's really going on so that you can move on so whatever this is something about the truth has to come out for you to move on you invested a lot in it and whoever you are you are innocent you are innocent some of y'all want y'all to tell the truth and justice is served you get the whole ten of penalty yes you do yes you do you got to tell the truth though the truth has to come out whatever the situation is judgment yep told you once you call judgment on this situation and you awaken the people to what is really going on, that's when the wheel is going to turn. And whatever this is, this was destined to happen. Look, this was destined to happen. Yeah, you got people, God has like sent his big dog. I'm talking about Archangel Michael, Raphael, Uriel, Gabriel, all the L's. He done sent them. Like to come and work your ancestors, your angels, all of that. He has sent them to come and work this out for you. And you are going, whoever you are, you this truth. <coughs> oh, <coughs> thank God I got my water on there. Oh. This truth is something that they don't want out. Oh, I'm telling you, they don't want this truth to come out. Somebody don't want this truth to come out. <coughs> of course, if you uh, if you're telling the truth and it's it's uh coming against these people that's doing bad, of course they don't want the truth to come out. But with this truth is gonna awaken a lot of uh people. Oh, y'all. <coughs> This truth is definitely have awoken archangels, these archangels and your ancestors and God, Jesus, Holy Spirit. It definitely has woken up your spirit to you. And they are working in your favor for whatever this is or whoever this is that do not want you to talk. It's something about you talking and saying the truth that, look, y'all saw I shuffled them cards. Telling the truth about how somebody betrayed you, tried to ruin you, and justice being served. Y'all, my throat is itching <coughs> so much with the nine of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Oh, uh, yeah, because some of y'all, y'all, um, y'all are going to be rewarded for what, when y'all speak y'all truth. And just as it serves, y'all are going to be rewarded for all your hard work. You're going to be able to enjoy the fruits of your labor because somebody or something has been putting y'all through the ringer. And y'all are going, whoever I'm speaking to, is somebody that's coming in to offer help. And whenever this person comes in, tell this person the truth. 
or tell whatever whatever the situation is, walk in the truth of it and watch. Watch what God does for you. Because somebody wants you to miss out on your blessing. Look, the magician in reverse. Yes, yeah, somebody is doing <clears throat> oh, somebody is doing like um work like they, they doing work to keep you stuck to where you don't say what needs to be said or do the right thing that needs to be done. But whoever I'm speaking to, you're going to do the right thing and it's going to awaken. I heard awaken the dead, but it's going to awaken. When I say the dead, I don't necessarily mean like the dead, like the corpse of like the dead. Could be some of y'all that's powerful to where y'all y'all like uh like when Jesus raised Lazarus from the dead. But when I'm talking about the dead, I'm talking about people who was blind, not physically blind, um blind, couldn't hear, not physically deaf. But you're gonna awaken people uh from the dead to where they are going to be able to live again. And whoever you got somebody in your energy that knows that and they are doing magic to try and stop you and they want you to focus on these three cups here and not focus on this cup that God is giving you. Some of y'all, somebody is coming in your energy and they are, <clears throat> they know that you have great things that's about to happen to you and they know that you are very like you're going to be very prosperous with the nine of pentacles and you could do this on your own when i say on your own of course your spirit team is back and, and you're gonna outside people are going to help you but i mean it ultimately is you you have somebody in your energy that knows this and what they're doing is they coming in like with this celebration some of y'all they pretending to be your friend they pretending to be your friend and coming in because that's Three of Cups is like friends celebrating, drinking, having fun, gathering. Somebody is pretending to be your friend to stop you. And so they coming in, yeah, they have the, the tools, but these tools that they have, they're using it for bad. Something because they want to benefit off of you, whoever I'm speaking to. The magician in reverse, they only care about themselves. They don't care about the greater good. You who I'm talking to, you care about the greater good. You have some truth on this person or this situation that you're going to, in order to move forward, you're going to have to tell the truth about this situation. Whoever this magician in reverse is, they know this and they don't want this truth to come out. So they're doing everything in their power to stop you. Some of y'all, <clears throat> you're feeling like you keep running into like closed doors. That is because somebody is sending some negative stuff your way to stop you. Um, but you have the power because you have the sword. Some, see how she's sitting there with the sword? Like she's thinking like, should I put this sword up or not? It's time to put this sword up. It's time to put this sword up because you see right here, he got that wand up. He, he got that wand up. Some of y'all not saying something and you got you got somebody ready to go to war for you, but because you're not saying nothing, they don't know what to go to war for. It's like it's not that you're lying, but you're not saying nothing. So somebody don't know what to, to put the wand up. You gotta put your sword up. When you put that sword up, his wand is already up. He ready. One thing about the king of wands. Look, he not like the knight. The knight just, I mean, just off top, he coming. The king, you see, he's sitting there, he waiting on you. She waiting, she sitting there not saying nothing, just sitting there waiting. He waiting on her, like, let me know what's up, what I got to do. How we got to collab and make this come together. So he's sitting there, he waiting on, on her. To come in and say, well, look, so we can tame whatever these negative forces is around us and keep it pushing. So he waiting on her to let him know what's up. 
some of y'all, this could, if this is like a relationship, somebody waiting on you to give them the go ahead so they can, y'all could have this, the ace of wands, not out here, but the wand is, y'all could have this new passion and beginning. Some of y'all, if this is a job, this job is waiting on you to say, yes, I take this job so that they can get the ball rolling with you. If this is entrepreneurship, it's time for you to start like saying, speaking things into existence, and then that's when the things are going to start happening. It's time for the truth. Some of y'all got to be truthful with yourself. What is it that you want? Who is it that you want? Whose are you? Look, missing you. Loving you all through the night. Yeah, somebody, he got that wand up. Somebody is like, you just you just say where, when, how, and I'm there. Yeah, some of y'all got to make a decision. And once you make this decision, being true to yourself, that's when this wheel is going to turn and you're going to be on top of the wheel. Some of y'all been at the bottom of the wheel for a while and you're wondering why am I at the bottom of the wheel. It's because it's the truth. You gotta, it's the truth got to come out. The truth has to come out. Look, he said this is real. And y'all like, okay, but this truth, I know what this truth is bringing. Is this real? This is real. This is real. I'm telling you, whoever I'm speaking to, you are the truth. You are the truth. And you are you are justice. You are, yeah, you, you, you call judgment. And somebody knows this and they do not want you to speak. They don't want you to speak because they know their butt is going to be in trouble. They're going to be in trouble. Are they not going to get what they thought that they were going to get? And for some of y'all, monetarily, y'all are going to be blessed with something and somebody don't want you to get it. If this is a job, this is going to be a good paying job. If this is a relationship, this is going to be a relationship where you all are going to be like couple goals. When y'all come together, y'all going to make stuff shake. You hear me? Oh, look, look, finances in the reverse. So, yeah, y'all finances and stuff. Wait, we had all of these was in the reverse, but finances, forgiving and learning, free yourself, past life relationship. That was all at the bottom. Oh, where is that? It's way down now. Okay. Privileged lady, yeah. Some of y'all about to be the privileged lady. Once you speak this truth, uh, Queen of Swords, whoever you are, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius don't have to be, but you can you can have it in your chart as well. But once you speak this truth, whoever you are, you are somebody that's very smart, intelligent. You can like you read people, not like the the Queen of, of Cups or anything like that, but you you have a good sense of who people are and what their intentions are. And some of y'all, you know, like I have to tell the truth. This truth has to come out. Whatever this truth is, only you know what that truth is to you. It has to come out. And this King of Wands is backing you. This King of Wands is backing you. This King of Wands knows that there's a truth too. But he can't force it out of you. You got you to gotta just say it. All right, the Three of Pentacles. Yeah, courtship. I kind of felt love too. It, went, it landed on the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah. Once you tell the truth uh, on this, that's when the wheel is going to turn. The wheel is going to turn in your favor. Look, it, it's coming your way. Coming your way, whoever the queen of swords is. Don't have to be a queen. This could be a king, but it's coming up as feminine energy. Like I said, one thing about the queen of swords, the queen of swords will get her point of law. And y'all saw me, I shuffled the cards, privileged lady. Got a lot of work to do to put it into some stuff. Because somebody has been robbing you of your gifts and making you sick. But look, high honor. You are heavily protected. Whoever you are, you are heavily protected. 
Give me, I'm gonna, I'm gonna clarify the Queen of Swords and the King of Swords. Give me something on this Queen of Swords. Expecting, be expecting great things. Be expecting this courtship, whatever this is. Uh, yeah. Some of y'all, uh, be expecting to move, and that's when you get this courtship. We have the floor right here with the uh, house, which is stability, security. Some of y'all be expecting, once you tell this truth or this truth comes out, be expecting for like things to be stable and secure for you. Now, some of y'all, because the five of pentacles had showed itself. Some of y'all uh, could have, you know, felt like you was loose or that came out in the last week. The five of pentacles, I think it came out in the last week. <laughs> well, but some of y'all could have like, look, the five came out for the mature man. Yep. <clears throat> y'all could have, um, Felt like you was left out in the cold and, and was losing and people, somebody had put a, a curse on your finances. If you felt like that, they did, but it's not going to work. Once you tell the truth, expose the devil and he shall flee. Some of y'all, the devil is riding you hard because you're not saying nothing. Once you speak on this devil, whoever this, uh, this devil is to you, this magician in reverse, once you speak on him, they gonna leave you alone. They gonna leave you alone. You just gotta speak on this devil. Give me what is up with this king of wands? Give me some of this king of wands. Landed on the wheel of fortune. Main male. Main male. The the one the only. The one the only. Yeah, I'm telling you, this king of wands. They got the hots for you. They got the hots for you, this King of Wands. Truth be told, they got the hots for you. You just got to make the decision, whoever you are, Queen of Swords. You just have to make the decision if you want this King this this King of Wands offer. Like I was saying, if this was a Knight of Wands, I would say, nah, I wouldn't really just take them serious. But the King of Wands, he, he can be faithful. He just, he's going to like to, you know, have SDX a lot. Um, but he don't only want it with you if this is a relationship. If this is a business situation, this is somebody that is very passionate about what they do. And so you with that sword down, Queen of Swords, yeah, you gotta you gotta speak up. You this is a king of wands, like you speak up, he go. You say Y'all would see like uh like the movies or even in real life. This like the the woman they be in love, the man and the woman, and she you know, real mild man and he's very fiery or whatever. And like I'll use uh fifty shades of gray, Christian. And what was her name? Anastasia. So this is like a Anastasia, you like a Anastasia Queen of Swords, uh you like an Anastasia, you have a Christian. Because <clears throat> y'all know Christian was very uh, F-R-E-A-K-Y, right? So, um, Anastasia, you know, when she said she didn't like something or something was out of order, what did Christian do? Every single time I saw Anastasia, because I watched all the shades of gray. Every single time Anastasia told Christian she was uncomfortable with something or something wasn't what she thought it was, even though he found that she was a little stubborn, he made sure to fix it. He took action. He was very passionate towards Anastasia. It's this kind of situation to where... Whoever you are, Queen of Swords, you have somebody ready to back you up. You just got to say so. You got to say so. And whoever this King of Wands is, then they're, once they awaken to what you got going on, the truth of the matter, that's when they're going to take action and its will is going to turn. Give me something on the judge. What did I say? What I everything that I was supposed to be saying, y'all. Today is nine one. For those of you who do the cinnamon, uh, 
Oh yeah, yeah. Cause some of you look, some of y'all been working hard, and I mean just laboring hard. And it's all because the truth is not out. Once this truth come out, I'm telling you, y'all gonna be living comfortably. I'm sorry, y'all, my eyes, but I was telling y'all about the cinnamon too. For those of you who uh, do the cinnamon uh, is every first of the month, this is supposed to help like with favor finances and everything. I don't know who needs to hear this, but I'm sharing this with y'all. You stand in your door when you blow cinnamon. You, well, you, you know, before you blow it, you say your petition of like what you're wanting uh, for yourself financially, uh, physically, spiritually, but how you want to, you know, advance and everything. And then you blow the cinnamon in the door out of your right hand. Or you can, uh, the cinnamon sticks, I burn them too. Ooh, I don't want to burn myself, but I burn them. They look like a little cigarette. <laughs> but you can burn them as well. But all right, back to the reading, y'all. Yeah, some of y'all been working hard, laboring hard, and that is about to change that is about to change once you speak this this king and this king of wands this could be don't have to like i said don't have to be a relationship this could be even on a job some of y'all it's time to tell on that co-worker that ain't been doing the right thing and once you tell I, hey i this sound like a snitch but oh well once you tell uh human resources is gonna handle whoever this is for some of y'all, I'm going to be honest with y'all, some of y'all on your job, you got somebody that's in like a higher a position, this king of wands, they they like you. Like if you go walk in this person's office, when you leave out, that wand is up. Others of you all, um, whatever the situation is, somebody is highly attracted to you. Um, I don't care what, but y'all, this is what I'm getting. Whether this is business or this is a relationship, if you collaborating with somebody for business, this person is attracted to you. This person wants to be your one and only. Look, somebody he said, let's do it again. So some of y'all could have did to do with this person before, and they like, let's do it again. But some of y'all been working hard for no reason. Like, you just got to tell the truth. And some of y'all don't want to be a snitch. And, like, not want to say something. But, you you know, you won't have to say something. I'm going to use the other kippers and then cosmics. And then I'm going to see from now, y'all. Y'all don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment. Thank you greatly. Look, murky thoughts. Yeah, some of y'all thinking like, if I say something, you know, I'm going to get this one in trouble or this is going to happen. But whoever you, you're trying to save, this person don't mind getting you in trouble. So now it's at the point is either you or him. I heard, I, I said him. It's either you or them. Some of y'all, this could be a... a Queen of Swords could be going up against a masculine. Wow, and there's two men that's collaborating. Some of y'all, y'all went for like, I'm hearing like a interview or for a job. And it was against like a masculine. If you're feminine. And... This masculine thing that they get in this position because they're masculine, but they're not. Once you get whoever you are, you have a mouthpiece on you. You just need to talk. And once you talk and say what you need to say, yeah, look, a meeting. Whenever this meeting occurs, you see how she talking to this man? Once this meeting occurs, you got both of the fours. Look. Once this meeting occurs, and you speak your truth, you got this. 
you got this. You just got to be bold and, and put that sword up. Put that sword up. And look what came on. Keep sweat. There's a right and a wrong way to love somebody. Some of y'all about to teach people how to love you. A change is coming. Y'all finna teach people how to love you. And you're coming out of this these murky thoughts. Because these same thoughts that this masculine have of you being a good lady, you're going to start thinking of that of yourself, whoever you are, Queen of Swords. Yeah, you about to get... When I say rich, I don't just mean... Because whoever this person is, you about to get this gift of this rich person. And again, be expecting it. Main female. Because we got the main male out here, not a main female that came out. Ooh... You're not a little girl. You're a woman. Ooh. All right. He said, take my hand and let me show you, baby. So, yeah. I'm telling you, this King of Wands is a red day. You hear me? He is ready. I'm telling y'all, I'm getting that, that Anastasia and, and Christian vibe. He said, hold me in your arms and never let me go. This is like, ooh. Whenever you link up with this Mandingo, because look, look in his hand. Whenever you link up with this Mandingo, just be ready. Be ready, because he's going to, mm. That's all I'm going to say. Let me go on to the gun. Yep, see, look. So if this is a job situation, you will not be working hard no more. You, whoever I'm speaking to, you done put in the hard work. Look how she looking raggedy on here. And then look at her hair. She look raggedy like and then look at her on him. She doing what she love. She look like she loving what she do. Yeah, some of y'all about to leave a position where you was just doing it for the money. I'm going to be honest. You was just doing it for the money. Now you about to be doing something where it's going to pay good, but you don't even care about the pay. You just love what you do. And I love it. Yeah, look, money going to just be coming because you're doing what you love. Grief and sorrow, success and yeah, and whoever that uh magician in reverse, they are about to be upset with you because look, grief and sorrow they watching. Does that man if that's that job with the the masculine, he watching and he gonna be upset because not, some of y'all not only are you getting a good job position, but you getting. The love, too. I'm, I'm picking up on that heavy. And look, see how he working with her? He working with her. They working together. Yeah, he said, you know you mean the world to me, girl. There's a good and a bad way to love somebody. Whoever this person is, they want to love you good. It's gonna be a lot of yeses. Yes, daddy. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. I had to say it, y'all. I had to. I had to. Let's see. Give me some on this three of pentacles with the cosmic. It'll be like two. And that success card. They had them. Let, let me see. Y'all want to see if I can find that. Because uh, that part of the song is about to come on. Two lovers in the tree. Look. Came right up. Two lovebirds in a tree. I don't think they're in a tree, though. They don't grab. It looks like they got a little leaf or something under them. Two lovebirds. Why can't you see? I love you to eternity. All right. Some of y'all, look, someone is in the middle trying to sabotage this. And it landed on the king of wands. So whoever this magician in reverse is, the king of wands 
look like they got somebody who is trying to sabotage them from getting it. Yep, but it ain't gonna happen. It ain't gonna happen. Find out more information and don't overwork yourself. Some of y'all is time. Oh, let the train pass. Don't overwork yourself. Some of y'all been working too hard at stuff. Find out more information on how to go about getting this truth out so you don't have to work so hard. And yes, look, yes, your spirit team is going to work this out for you. You just have to, faith without work is dead. At this point, the faith is working, but the work is not being done. To who I'm speaking to, you have to say something. Give me something on the judgment. You gotta cut through all. You gonna have to cut through somebody's deception and just, you know, look. Cannot make it up. You gotta tell people what you want. Tell this job what you want. Tell this King of Wands masculine what you want. Some of y'all interested in somebody, and you don't want to tell them because you're afraid of. Look, manifesting a honeymoon. Cannot make it up. You don't want to tell this king of wands because you don't know how they're going to feel about this situation. But his wand is up. He passionate about you too. But you, those of you who feeling like, should I say something? Yes, you should. Look, cannot. Cannot make it up. This person, and for those of you who already, because I picked up that energy too, y'all done already slept with this person and stop for whatever reason. This person reminisces about that. Oh, what should I end the reading with? I'm going to use, because they came out earlier, so I'm going to use the romance angels. Let me get all of them. What this song say? You, me, and she? What are we going to do together? Someone else is in the middle. Yeah, she going to have to go. That's what we going to do together because she got to go. All right? <laughs> you, me, and she? No, that don't, that's not even a good equation. That don't work because around here we territorial. We don't like to share. Okay? All right, let's see. The Three of Pentacles. I had to put the love on that because the passion I'm feeling from this reading. Yeah, healing family issues and express your love. Yeah, some of y'all, uh, y'all did uh, have something going on with uh, this King of Wands. King of Wands and uh, Queen of Swords had something going on. And for whatever reason, somebody came in between this and the, somebody went and healed, whether it was the Queen of Swords or the King of Wands, they went healed and now they're ready to express their love. Whoever went healed and separated, now they want to collaborate with these three of Pentacles that want to collaborate and heal family issues. I mean, they heal family issues. So some of y'all, this could have been your family member, but they separated and now they want to come together and heal and express their love. Yep, new love. Let go of control issues. Make the effort. I'm telling you, I cannot make it up, Queen of Swords. Somebody needs to put that sword up. Flirt. Flirt. The Queen of Wands. I mean, ooh, I, I just called you the Queen of Wands, Queen of Swords. So some of y'all need to tap into your wand energy. We know she's very seductive and flirtatious and milkshake brings the boys to the yard. Some of y'all need to tap into your queen of wands energy. Keep an open mind. Some of y'all like, oh no, not me this closed off queen of swords. You want that passion a new beginning that's right there waiting for you? And I mean, he waiting. You better put a little cleave it out and get yourself together and, and stretch your stuff. 
All right, give me some on the judgment. Now, I'm not saying to do this for no job. Because you don't want to get no job by uh, flirting with the boss because that never goes well. Um, judgment, yeah. This final decision is all, it's safe for you to love. Some of y'all worried about what people going to say, how it's going to look. Let your friends help you and stay optimistic about oh, trust. And stay optimistic about your love life. Because whoever this person is that's all up in the mix and shouldn't be in the mix, it's unrequited love. Unrequited love and a wedding. This King of Wands could have been married. I picked up that. Okay, this King of Wands could could be married, could have been married. They're not married anymore. Um, all the Queen of Swords could have been married because that's, that's divorce. But who, whatever the situation was, whoever this middle person is, that it was unrequited and this person knows that and they freed themselves from whoever this person is in the middle and this person who's in the middle they mad about that that's why they using magic or whatever to try and stop you but they're not gonna stop because this was a past life relationship. Look, flirting again. And release your ex. Yeah, this person, <laughs> whoever this middle man, middle woman is, they don't want to be released. And if this is a job, this is somebody who you beat the competition and they don't want that. And so they are like, you. they use a magic to like, Try to stop them and they can't. It's just not going to happen. And what I'm getting is that they've tried everything and it's not working. And it's not going to work. And not judgment is being called on whoever this person is from trying to make you work so hard or things be hard on you. And it's saying some of y'all are like, some whoever I'm speaking to, you know this this you don't may not know this person, but you know that somebody like this was working in your energy, and now you wondering if they still doing it. They not. They can't. They can't because now this person is in this situation. The tables have turned now, and judgment has been called on this person. And they, it, that's why I'm saying it's safe for you to love. It's safe for you to love. It's safe for you to take this job. It's safe for you to do whatever it is that you want to do. Because whoever this magician in reverse person is that's trying to get in between your blessings, it's over for them. It's over. Yeah, it's over. All right, guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment. This is why I end your reading. Guys, be blessed. Be blessed. Be blessed. Um, and y'all, y'all have some passionate person in y'all energy that is ready to when you say let's go, they ready to rock and roll. They ready to rock and roll. You hear me? So with that being said, I am ending your reading. You guys be blessed. Have a blessed day, blessed night. Whenever this message reaches you, hopefully it recorded. I mean, well, the, if you could hear my voice. If you can hear my voice, click that like button. <laughs> All right, y'all. Be blessed. Have a good day, good night. Be blessed.